Well, good morning, West Ham fans. Happy Friday. Now, are we going to concentrate on bringing in a striker now? Yes, everybody, Russell and West Ham Network. Hope you're safe and well. Happy Friday. Well done. We've done another week and obviously England tomorrow. But it could be Happy Kilman Day today, obviously. The Sky Sports for Richard Romano, all over the news, news um, late sort of mid-afternoon yesterday, um, that we had a £40 million in the region, of £40 million bid accepted uh, for the uh, 27-year-old Wolves captain, Max Kilman, left-footed, centre-half, homegrown. Premier League experience, captain as well. Um, and apparently we've, the medical's already been done as well. It was done yesterday as well. Don't fucking anything about it, do we? But um, so he could be released. He, he could be announced today, potentially. And if he is, as soon as we find out, we'll let you know. And uh, yeah, another one in the bag. You know, and I appreciate there's, you know, there's people going, oh, it's a lot of money. And I think he's probably about, I reckon it's about 10 about 10 million quid going rate, you know, I think what we spent on Kurt Zuma and again, was about 30 odd million quid, weren't it? Um, it's about 10 million quid more. Um, but as I said, he does come with that homegrown quota, which we are have to keep an eye on. And he's an English based left-sided center half who's captain. who's played 150 times for, for Wolves. Um, and we haven't even seen him playing a West Ham shirt yet. People are writing him off already. It's like, give him a fucking chance. We were all right off bloody Craig Dawson, didn't we? I remember I remember all the Wolf, all the Watford fans laughing at us for signing Dawson. Now I appreciate it's a bit a bit different from two million to 40, 40 million pounds, but still, let's give him a chance. This is the guy that that Julian Lopetegui wanted. You know, he was his number one target, he was his captain, and I think he's gonna be his I still think I think to be captain next season. Um, and I think he's going to be his, he's Kevin Nolan, I call it. Do you know what I mean? He, like, you know, I think every every half-decent West Ham side we've had, you've got a, that player who the manager has an affiliation with, is that sort of go-between, that conduit between the coaching staff and the playing staff. And I think, um, you know, I think, well, I, I just think Max is that. I think Max could be that person. So, look, let's wait and see. And as I said, as soon as we find out anything more, um, we are still apparently still talking, talking about to uh, decide whether to go back in for um, Toribo from Nice, Jean Claire. Um, apparently, Kurt Zuma may well be added to that deal potentially as a sweetener. We'll see. Obviously, Jacob Bryan is still someone we have an interest in. Um, I think if we did sell a Gerd, um, then um, one of them comes in. We'll wait and see, really. And then you've got a whole, the whole Carl Walker Peters and Flynn Downs swap kind of thing. Um, but it does seem in the last sort of, I mean, the Kilman thing sort of gathered pace very quick. I didn't think we'd anywhere near him. And then it's just, right, yep, yeah, da, 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 da. very strange. Although apparently yesterday, Lobotegi was going out for dinner with David Sullivan yesterday. So that's, you know, <laughs> and they, he's just. Like in essence, bought his number one target. So you know when they're at Nando's together, sharing a probably sharing a, a wing roulette. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> at least there's nothing to moan about. Well, there's something to moan about. But oh yeah, by the way, I did buy your best. You know, the play you really wanted. But it does seem strike is is a an area we're definitely looking at. And so um, we've been linked with quite a few, including this gentleman. Um, we just. It's obviously very quick. He's just zoomed off. Um, according to Spanish me- media outlet AS, West Ham have found out it's going to cost us 32, 32.2 million pounds to activate the release clause of the Villarreal Norwegian striker, Alexander Zoloff. Um, apparently us and Roma have inquired about his availability uh, and Villarreal made it clear that basically they don't need to sell. But obviously if you pay 32.2, that's his release clause and off he goes. Um, I mean, he scored 26 goals in all competitions uh, for Villarreal. Um, and he's actually quite a well-travelled individual. Um, he's played in the Bundesliga. 
He's played in La Liga. He's played in the Belgian Pro League. He's played in the Danish Superliga. He's played in uh, the Eredivisie. And also, he's played in the Premier League for Crystal Palace, albeit 16 appearances. Uh, no, so yeah, 16 appearances, uh, 20 appearances in total and one goal. But regardless of that fact, he has played in the Premier League already. He's got a career record of 368 games and 131 goals. And as I said, 26 um, in all competitions for Villarreal yes, this season, 23 of them in La Liga. Um, we'll see. I mean, he finished the second, uh, La Liga's second highest goal scorer last season um, in a side who performed very similar to West Ham, really. They finished just outside the European places as well, just like us, um, albeit they had a, an early exit in the Europa League. They were one of the favourites, really, to, to progress. So, you know, it could be quite a smooth transition uh, for bringing in Alexander, potentially. But that would obviously come with a price tag of over £30 million. One alternative... Could be a guy we've spoken about before, Simon Banza. Great name. A Banza Bonanza. That's what the journalist will say when he scores four goals against Spurs um, in his <laughs> in one of his games. According to Ojogo, love, I love the names of these fans, um, in their print edition yesterday, they said that West Ham are ready to make an improved bid of around £15 million for the Braga hitman. Um, it's, I mean, the, the, not, the, not, the, not, the, not the fly in the ointment, but obviously Max Kilman's 27, Simon Banzer is 27, but Simon Banzer, you're only paying £15 million. If it was £30 million, £40 million, maybe, although that's quite hypocritical, I've just said that's, although I've said it's about £10 million too much for Max Kilman anyway. But um, apparently uh, about £15 million quid is what it's going to take to prize him away from Braga. Um, the Congolese striker, uh, we've been linked to him all summer. We continue to. I think he's on paper. If anyone watches any of the uh, Liga Nosh, um, he's a really good player, really good striker. He's, he's six foot two. He's strong in the air. Very quick, likes running the channels, sounds a bit fucking familiar. Um, and he likes running the channels in order to sort of create more space in the midfield and um, for the wingers. So, you know, you can imagine the Kudus running into the space, Bowie running into the space, etc. etc. Very good finisher. 21 goals in 28 league games for Braga last season, second only to um Victor, Victor Cucurelles from uh. Uh, the former commentary striker in Sporting Lisbon in the uh, Premier League charts. Uh, this is six foot two, very built, perfect physique for the Premier League. Um, I, I think if we could get him for 15 million, I'd be very happy. I really would be very happy. Yes, he hasn't got any necessarily Premier League experience, but to be honest, we're looking at spending 50, like, you know, 20 million, whatever it was, 15, 20 million for bloody Sergio Grace, who has scored roughly the same. Um, obviously, he went to Dortmund. Has he gone to Dortmund? Not yet, but I think he will be going to Dortmund. So, I think it could be a bonanza. And I think it's not a bad deal. Or, or we go down the free route. We go down the free route. And apparently, us and Wolves are both very keen in signing free agent Kalichi Iheanacho, according to several sources, um, particularly Soccernet, the Nigerian media outlet. It reports on their website that the Hammers, apparently, and Wolves are both interested in. In him, the former Man City man is a free agent after his contract with Leicester expired um, at the end of June. Um, and apparently, apparently, he's a key target for West Ham. Um, one of the major things as well is he's homegrown, I believe. Let me just do the maths. I believe he is homegrown. Oh, by the way, thank you. Someone sent me this. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so rude, but I don't know who sent it to me. So, if you sent it to me, thank you. Uh, I'm just doing the maths to make sure he is homegrown. Uh, plus 21. Oh, yes, he is homegrown. Yes, just I think just homegrown. 
He joined Man City in the 2014-15 season on, yeah, depending where his birthday is, he should be homegrown. Um, but anyway, so he is homegrown. I would just assume he is, you know. Um, but free transfer, obviously, we know it's not free. We know there is a possibility, obviously, of signing on fee and stuff like that. But Premier League experience, he's not, he's not going to set the world alight. But as a squad player, I don't think you can get that. He's not that bad, is he? I think he's all right. Who would you prefer? Would you prefer him or would you prefer Callum Bloody Wilson? We spoke about him yesterday. That coins and these are on They have said that West Ham have asked Newcastle for permission to speak to the player. Um, it's believed he's, he's, he's likely to be a backup option with Mikel Antonio's future up in the air. Um, and it could be that the club are looking to pursue Wilson potentially towards the end of the window if they can't secure other to other targets. So, you know, very much on the B list or the C list. Um, we know he's old. He's 32. Well, old, he is. I'm old. But he's older. He's younger than me. Um, despite his age, and obviously he does get injured quite a bit and he's probably got big wages. He has a very, you know, he's very clinical. And so arguably more clinical than Mikel Antonio, for example. Uh, and obviously we do have a long history of him. Um, so it seems surely that a transfer is somewhat overdue at West Ham. Um, he's a he, he's a typical, I think he's quite a typical West Ham player in the best and worst ways imaginable, to be honest. Um, he's a bastard, but he'll be our bastard. Um, but clinical in goal and as a backup, again, I don't think it, it, it all comes down to money, really. It comes down to his wages and it comes down to how much Newcastle want to sell him for. Um, he's very much not in their plans. Obviously, he was a bit part player last year as well with Alex and Isaac. But then, to be honest, most strikers would have been in terms of Isaac. He's a bloody good player. Um, personally, I think I think if you got Banzer in and got Kalichi on a free transfer, I think that would be. I'd be very happy with that. Um, I think Banzer's that sort of sweet spot in terms of value to age. He's twenty seven. But it's fifteen million, only fifteen million pound. Ridiculous, isn't it? When you say that, but I think that would work. Um, and then obviously, maybe then you could move on Mikhail potentially to other. You know, Nottingham Forest were looking at him. Um, several MLS clubs, uh, the Saudi Pro League as well. Um, Brazil, Gremo, wanted to take us sort of around for two million quid. Very strange. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I think Zoloff is not an unknown quantity, but I think for thirty-two million pounds, I think I, I don't know. I just think it's a bit steep. But then I think we've overpaid for Max Kilman anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know to be honest. But I think I've always I've always quite liked Banzer as an option. I just think he's very okay, let's get bloody Callum Wilson off the show. Um I just think he's he's always been very good. Oh he's still he's still there. Um I actually quite think he's a very good player and fifteen million I think you get what's his goal let's have a look at his goal scoring record. Let's have a quick quick let's have a quick butcher's look at his scoring record. Um he's Played 300 games, just over 300 games, 100 goals. Um, yeah, he said, I mean, to be fair, looking at his numbers, maybe 20, you know, for being subjective, maybe the last season, a bit of a purple patch. Um, I mean, to be honest, maybe he's not the right answer. Maybe. <laughs> looking at him now, um, I mean, from 2017. 13 goals, 14 goals, 11 goals. Oh, sorry, 18, 17, 14, then 23. Maybe. I mean, he's consistently over 10 goals. Can, you know, almost consistently for the last four years over. Um, although, where's he been then? There's a, bit, there's a bit of a gap there. Not too sure. Oh, did he go to... Oh, he went to Lons. Oh, Okay. Ignore me. I'm sorry, ignore me. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. We're back for Hammers Headlines, Daily Shows, and also any breaking news if we do sign Max Kilman today. Uh, anyway, until next time, take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble. Don't forget to give me a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a great Friday. I'm going to go out for a curry with the boys tonight. Looking forward to that. And England tomorrow. 
if you're again, you know, thank, I just want to just give a little shout out to Alloy Collectors. Keep an eye on our channel, social media channels, Twitter or X, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Just keep an eye on them if you're in the East, East London area and you want one of these. That's all I'm saying. Much love. See you soon. Bye-bye.